All right, everybody settle down. I want to get a gun. I do. I really do. I never had that feeling before until I moved out to Los Angeles. This city just messes with your mind, you know? It's overpopulated, technically doesn't have a water supply. Right? The dollar's crashing. Shit keeps you up at night. You're just sick of them. What am I gonna do when the zombies come? Right? Start reading up on shit. Get some powdered food. Plant some zucchini. Get a windmill. Right? And that's all well and good, but if you don't know how to fight, all you're doing is gathering supplies for the toughest guy in the block. Right? thinking about that. What am I going to do? Some dude turns me upside down, starts shaking the gold coins out of my pockets. <laughs> I got to get a gun. So I'm on the road, right? I'm in Reno. Great gun town. So I go down to that little gun store, right? Come walking in, there's some redneck there. I'm like, hey man, I want to get a gun. He's like, I hear you. What you looking for? What you want? Mossberg, over under, 357 Magnum, right? Starts rattling off all this gibberish, right? <laughs> I don't know shit. I'm trying to play it off. I feel like a bitch because I don't know anything about guns. <laughs> so I was like, what do I do here? Ah, hell, well, I go, I'm gonna go with honesty. I go, look, dude, I don't know anything about guns. They terrify me, but I'm worried about the zombies. <laughs> All right? Dude's just like, you need a shotgun. <laughs> you need a shotgun, man. It's got a good spread. It's easy to load, doesn't have a lot of working parts. It's got a good spread. He kept saying that. He's got a good spread. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, well, it means you ain't gotta be that accurate. He's got a good spread. Further away you are, the more shit you hit. He's got a good spread. In fact, you got a problem over here, you ain't even gotta look. You just turn, wow, that's it. You ain't got a problem over here anymore. Anything that was even remotely a problem ain't there anymore, trust me. And then these people here, they saw what you just did here. You ain't got a problem here either. You feel me? Nine degrees taken care of right there. One shot. These people get smart, flip it over. Wow, that's it. It's got a good spread. <laughs> so I'm like laughing my ass off. I'm like, dude, look, I just want to shoot the guy. I don't have to do a bunch of drywall work, you know? <laughs> Reframe my diploma. Get my parakeet another friend, you know? I just want to shoot the guy. So I'm like, you know, how about, how about one of these pistols? So he does like that classic, like that redneck trailing off thing, like, ah, right, you want a pistol? Go ahead and get a pistol. <laughs> what do I know? I've just been here 20 years. You know? Get a shiny one, right? So I was like, what's wrong with getting a pistol? He goes, I'll tell you what, buddy. Because life, life ain't a movie. You feel me? I'm like, no. Can you please stop speaking in these backwards riddles? Can you just say what you're saying? I told you I don't know shit about guns. Come on, do me a solid here. What he goes, well, look, you ever watch a movie? Guy go blah, 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 he, he kills three people. Real life, man, you miss. You miss all the fucking time. <laughs> you miss enough times, man, you might as well, you're empty. You might as well just be standing there with a big stapler in your hand. <laughs> then what you gonna do? I was like, well, fuck it, let's get the shotgun. <laughs> so he's all ready to box the thing up, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I live with my girl, I can't just show up with a shotgun. Right? That's not some shit you can just come home with. If I found this stool on the side of the road, I can come home with this. Look at it. We can, we can refinish it. We can carve our initials in it. We can have a good time, right? They just show up with a shotgun. Hey, I got it for us, right? One barrel for you, one for me. No. So she kiboshes the whole thing. Till the other night, somebody broke into our car, sitting in the driveway. Starts fucking with her head. Right? So she starts reading up on guns, you know? She's reading too much, because now she wants to get one, but she's just like, well, I heard you got to keep the bullets in the safe, keep the stock in the garage. And, it's, and then what? Then what? I run around the house and assemble it. There's some dudes chasing me with an ax. You know? Are you even thinking this thing through, sweetheart? Just running around. Where's, where's the scope? It's in the living room. He's in the living room! No, we're getting this thing. I want that fucking thing loaded right on the bedroom wall, right there. I'll put that thing up my jam jam sleeves. <laughs> Just like that. There's no other point. That's funny though, when you, when you talk about getting a gun, you know? People like, they either totally for it or completely against it, 
You know, they either go nuts and start screaming, right? Or they start throwing out those stats. You know, actually, you, you increase your chances of getting shot by 80% the second you get a gun in the house. Really? What, because I'm going to load it and shower with it? Like, eh, eh, eh. The fuck? I know it's dangerous. You get a pool in your backyard, you immediately increase your odds of drowning in your backyard, right? You couldn't do that before. Now you step on a rake, in you go. No, I'm telling you. I don't buy into any of that shit. <laughs> Stats are so fucking stupid, you know? Not that they're stupid, it's the way people apply them. You already have your mind made up, and then you go to I'mRight.com, and you start memorizing a bunch of shit, and then you just, just throw it up at people. This guy tried to get me to go scuba diving. I go, I'm not going, I don't want to get eaten by a shark. He's like, well, actually, 90% of shark attacks actually happen in